In the last video, we talked about your hunger, and today I wanna to talk about your mindset. So the mindset has three phases. It goes from tired, being exhausted, and not loving it. And I wanna make sure that you're guided in the right direction, so here we go. Now when it comes to your mindset, there's three phases. Are you tired? Are you exhausted? Or are you not loving it? So if the next day you wake up and you know you crushed some workouts and you wake up and you're just tired, like naturally most of us wake up and we're tired, right? Coffee, if we drink coffee the night before, the brain and the body get used to caffeine, especially if you have it first thing in the morning. So you're obviously gonna wake up where you're tired, you need that coffee. Most of us can power through the day once we get that stimulus in us. Now, if you're tired and you don't drink coffee normally, then that's still okay because tired is something that we're gonna naturally feel because if we push the body, then the body is going to say, you know, maybe just a little bit more rest. They always recommend seven to eight hours of sleep, but I know a lot of the elite athletes, they sleep for at least eight to nine, even up to 10 hours. So the harder you push yourself, unfortunately, the more rest and sleep that we're gonna require. Now, you could wake up tired as an average person like myself, and that's okay because we'll do another workout. But if we do another workout or another two weeks of workouts where we're training really hard and we wake up and we feel exhausted, well, exhausted is something a little bit different. If you're waking up and you're dragging yourself and you're forcing yourself to go to the gym, your mindset personally is very strong and you're still getting to the gym. But if you're at a point of exhaustion, you might consider reducing. Okay, and I don't necessarily mean resting because often this word rest is associated with taking it completely off. And the easy answer that most people just give is to just, you know, take time off, right? But they don't know how working out and being in the environment affects you mentally and physically. For a lot of us, going to the gym helps to boost our mentality and makes us feel better. And so if we're exhausted, and let's say that you've done six to seven days of workouts in a row, then you should probably reduce. So if you just go once a day, but you've done six or seven workouts in a row, then you could probably reduce by actually, yes, taking a rest day where you're not crushing the weights, you're letting your body recover from a lot of that movement that we create. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to stop activity, okay? It means that A, you can try and get more sleep, B, you could plan a personal break where you just sit and be for 15 minutes a day. Or C, you can do an active recovery like going for a swim, going for a bike ride, or even just getting your jacket on and going outside for a light walk. Movement will always heal. Maybe you just need to reduce the amount of activity that you're doing, but you don't necessarily mean to take a rest. Now, the last one is if you wake up and you're not loving it where you're kind of really, really forcing yourself and you're just debating, do I go to the gym? First, I would tell you to ask yourself, is it really the gym that's creating this not loving it feeling? Or is there something else that's going on in your life that's affecting your mindset? And if the rest of your life is perfect, family life, work life, personal life is perfect, and you know for sure that it's the gym that's creating this I'm not loving going, then at that point, I would tell you to give yourself a rest, okay? So this is where you can actually take a day or two to rest and recover. But in that time, I would recommend that you do something else, but maybe not as intense so that your body can recover because maybe you put three months straight of strict dieting, strict working out, and you just come to the point where you actually need a small break. Then I completely understand because I never want you to not love it. Okay? I want you to enjoy the entire journey. There's not gonna be every day we're gonna wake up and it's gonna be sunshines and rainbows, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we need to completely stop what we're doing. We just need to alter it. And so if you're not loving it, then consider altering what you're doing, but give yourself a break so that you can reset mentally, recharge the body, and then you can get back at it. I want you to have the strongest mindset available. And when it comes to your mindset, I wanna work you through the three levels of being tired, exhausted, and not loving it. I want you to enjoy this entire journey, and as such, let's put you in the right environment. Go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn, or if you're brand new, let's start you with the five-day trial, then we'll upgrade you to the belly burn.